Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. And um, today I was working on this like folder for my ephemera I had seen on YouTube. So um, I didn't share the process of me making it because um, there are multiple um, tutorials on YouTube and I didn't want to like steal it. And also, I'm the kind of person that doesn't really measure anything. I just do stuff. Um, and also, I sewed the pockets instead of um, gluing them. And I'm really, really new into sewing. I got a sewing machine on my... I think 16th birthday, but um, I couldn't make it work, so I just stood there for two years, two and a half years. And um, just a few days ago, I decided to um, give it a try, and it was a success. So, um, yeah, ever since that day, I've been practicing because I really want to make uh, Halloween costumes for me and my boyfriend. So I feel like I need to practice a bit more to be able to do that because, you know, it's kind of hard. Like, I, I can work it, but I make a lot of mistakes and I am just so scared that I will um, mess things up. So this folder is far from perfect, but, you know, I, I kind of practice and, you know, this thing is not, like, meant to be perfect, you know, it's not necessary because... Um, it just holds ephemera, you know. I'm just, I'm probably not gonna keep this forever. Um, but yeah, I do think it's fun. I just chose um, like 12, 12 or 12, 12, 12. What do you call that? Sorry. It's uh, a live audio, in case you didn't know. It's not a voiceover this time. Um, in a really good mind space right now. I just meditated for 10 minutes um, with a nap. And um, it's crazy. I've tried meditating before. It never really worked for me. And this time it really did. I felt so heavy and so worried. Um, so I did like a happy meditating thing. Um, and I felt so heavy and at the end of it, I felt so light and also I cried like <laughs> I feel so weird uh, saying that because it is so personal, but I don't know. I just The things that person said um, Really did happen and I just felt so Enlightened I think it's the word just felt like anything was possible. I felt so proud of myself. Not for meditating, but for, for you know, how far I've come as a person and how hard I'm fighting. And even though I'm doing better, I keep worrying and worrying about all these things. And because of that, I never truly get a moment of happiness because I'm always worrying. And that's just upsetting. I should just be happy because I've come so far. And let's say things take a bad turn i'm always going to regret that i didn't enjoy the time while i was doing well i was doing better you know what i mean so i don't know i think that just touched me and also just um actually feeling the meditating helping me that was just like something i know you have to believe in it and you have to like really focus and i did i had my like of like this flickering wood candles that like um, burn like a fire. It's really relaxing and I had that on and I could smell it and I could hear it and it just, and I had the lights off. I was sitting on the ground on a pillow and I just, just loved it. Like the thing is with meditating, I do feel all the pains in my body, but I do feel them right now. Like I'm not in chronic pain or anything. I'm just, um, I've been behind my sewing machine all day and I get really bad hurts from that and this morning I was working and yeah, my body is kind of exhausted. So that's normal and with meditating, like 
it focuses on that but now I realize it doesn't because I'm still feeling it right now I'm just not feeling all the good things I felt while I was meditating so I'm definitely going to meditate more often if anyone knows like a good YouTube account or a good um, free app because now I use Headspace and um, you can just do like a one course for every like subject and the other things you have to pay for and I think it's great that they do that you know um, I'm just not really in the place right now to be able to afford all like luxury things like paying for meditation um, maybe one day when I'm old and rich but uh, <laughs> yeah not right now so that's that um, what I'm doing right now is just painting this uh, washi tape this is the middle of the folder um, I just did it on the side because I cut it <laughs> like I'm really bad at following tutorials like I'm the worst like I think I thought I was doing the same thing as she was but I wasn't I was just cutting right through everything so um yeah that's like like I didn't really follow tutorial because like I said like I do things wrong if I follow them you know what I mean so um I did like do what she did with um you know these two but all the like the insights I did differently I just made up my own size I think it works perfectly so you know I'm not really a tutorial type of person that's probably why I don't do tutorials because I just think you should do things as you go and I will be covering it with um, a layer of lace so that will hopefully look nice so that's what I'm doing and hopefully this will make the tape is not that wide anyways you can see a bit of my um, <laughs> my sewing like this is like a thicker paper piece like almost cardstock type of thing and maybe it's cardstock it probably is um, so my sewing machine didn't really like that um, so I hope I didn't like broke it. I don't know if you need like a special needle for um, cardstock and stuff. You probably do. I don't know much about sewing machines, you know. And I have a grandma who is really good at it, but um, she doesn't sew paper and stuff. Who does that? So this box is actually full with scraps and stuff. And I have another box just for paper scraps. And there are paper scraps in here and they're not supposed to be in here. Uh, I love this box though. so. I'm not going to put every piece of camera in that folder. Um, I already know that. For example, here I got like an entire, oh no, where's the back? Oh, here. An entire back of these stacks. Like I'm not going to put that in there. That makes no sense. But like here I got a loose stack. I want to put that in that folder. So um, yeah, that's what we are going to do in this video. I hope it's an interesting video because I don't want to be making this and not uploading it because I think it's boring. Like I like the idea and I'm, I'm fairly at peace right now and I just want to share that with you guys. I just think this could be nice but then at another time I'm like this is boring and now I'm like I like the vibe so you know. So what I did, um, I used these um, papers that I didn't really saw any other ambition for, you know, I didn't just look at these papers and I was like, yeah, I don't know what to do with them. So they came from like a paper block and some of them I really loved, so I got it. But then you always have those you don't really like. So I um, gathered, <laughs> gathered, <laughs> gathered those and uh, came up with a selection. And this is the first one I did. Yeah, don't mind that. I'm a beginner. Um, thought it was a good idea to keep this on the outside and um, put like blue paper on the inside. Um, but this doesn't really look good. And this is just room now. You know what I mean? So with the other ones, I just thought I'm going to do this. I just love how this looks. So the pockets are on the like pretty side. And on the other side, you have just 
this, which is ugly. I shouldn't have covered this with blue because it was just a waste of time. Should have just kept it wide um, to save myself a lot of trouble and I could cover it right now with whatever I wanted. Um, so I don't know if you're going to cover this. I thought we could just add envelopes so we can put um, like bigger stuff in them. Like I keep this um, Disney envelope around and always put like a piece of plastic in here. Um, so I could put this like right here to add more ephemera. I don't know how um, big this is going to be. It's still not together. I just need to sew it. But um, yeah, we can just see what we're going to do. Um, so yeah, I got this one, this one, and this one. Um, like I really like the papers now. But I wouldn't have used it for anything else, so this is just a perfect outcome. This project just had to come. Here I'm just trying to organize the different pieces of ephemera, what goes well together. I really wanted to do like a special um, like page for everything in my relationship journal. Because I always keep that part because I need to wait to get pictures and stuff. So I have a different pocket for crease and then... Um, also got some ephemera from Scotland so I'm keeping that um, separated and all the other little things I'm just um, trying to make sense see what goes well together and what doesn't so I just started out some things and just realized um, that I kind of have, have some categories already so for example I have a lot of things that I I kept for in my relationship journal so I thought what if I just um, you know I don't know the order of these so I kind of should figure that out first or decide which one is the middle one and then it's going to be this one yeah we're going to do that and then I'm going to put everything that I want in my relationship journal in here I hope that works out the way I want it to so I got some categories like um, this is Greece. So that is that. And then I've just a card I want in there, but that's not going to fit in here. So I'm just going to put that aside. All right. So I don't know. How much I got from Scotland. Yeah, I know I got another card I want to use. So should just see what we're going to do with that. So what I really look forward to is when I um, finally get around doing that. The next thing I'm able to do is put new ephemera in that pocket that's then empty so I really like that so I'm going to give that one the big one because of the um, tickets but uh, those aren't called tickets receipts that's the word um, so I also got like these travel themed things so maybe I'm just going to put that with um, the Scotland one because I don't have much that fits in this little pocket but I do think the travel theme is fitting here because um, yeah all these things have to do with travel and I really want to use these things up some of these pictures I've had for years and kept them and never used them so that's kind of ridiculous but Oh well, it just looks so cute. I'm so happy. So I also got like a pile with like little envelopes I want to use. So um, that's what I need. I also found these little Disney stickers um, that I'm probably just going to use in a drink journal or something.
think, cover this up with envelopes because apparently I have a lot of stuff to put in those envelopes. Um, so I'm just going to sort through everything again and I'll come back to you with um, new, new things. Hi guys, um, it's the next morning. I don't know if it's still morning. Um, and I've completed the binding, I didn't show you because it's just a messy process. And um, yeah, I'm really happy with the end result. I really like that this is the front. I just love it. Like when I saw the paper on its own, I was kind of like, oh, this is kind of like not my thing. But now it just looks so good and the paint looks so good with it. And yes, this is crooked. So we are going to um, probably do something about this. I don't know. I, I kind of like it, but also kind of don't like that it's not even and that I have clear tape here. But yeah, um, I'm really happy with this. So this is what the binding looks like. It's kind of messy. <laughs> um, but I'm going to cover that with this. That was already the plan. That's gonna look good, I think. And then on the inside, we have this thing that flaps open. And um, as you can see, I did this same lace on the inside as well. And then we got all the pockets. And on these sides, I'm going to put um, envelopes like this. So this is covered up and I um, make use of the space. So it turned out pretty big. Um, but yeah, I hope that it will fit a lot of things. So that's good. Um, so yes, the first thing I just have some Disney things in here, some like real people fandoms kind of thing, um, flowers, quotes and random. And then here will be two envelopes. Here I got everything like travel themed and for in my relationship journal. And then two empty sides. And this one just just love his pictures and I'll fill the rest of this with um think just pretty looking things and then here will be another bucket and then on the end we have another flap that we can fill so i'm super excited about it i hope it's sturdy i sewed sewed every single piece in separately because it's cardstock and quite thick and i wanted it to um to stick well so I think it will be fine but yeah for now I'm just going to um, add the lace on the binding even though I really really like the paint with it but yeah I didn't do it so neatly so and I taped it because it wasn't the wash tape wasn't strong enough so you know it's it's a, like a low budget project I didn't really want to like I don't know try too hard to make it perfect because then it wouldn't be an easy project anymore if you know what I mean. So we can do like the the big side on this side or the other way around. What do we like? I think this should be on the front side.
So my phone stopped recording and then I was like, what? Why? And then I saw I was already filming for an hour. <laughs> that realization is always hard. Um, you know, there's nothing wrong with that, but I have to make this video like a like an interesting length because nobody's gonna be interested if it's um, two hours long, you know what I mean? So I'm done with putting all the ephemera in that I thought I would quickly show you. I didn't do anything to the book other than fill it um, because I like it this way and I don't really feel the need to decorate it. So the first page I have spocket with all these poster cards. In here there are poster cards as well, but smaller ones. And behind here just some things that couldn't fit in the buckets. In this envelope, I keep everything that's big and needs to go into my relationship journal. Then I have these small pockets with just cute pictures, Disney stickers, uh, fandom stickers, random... What I'm saying? There are not stickers. <laughs> um, pictures, um, random pictures, things with words on them, flowers. And here I keep uh, cards that are kit team, Disney, things like that, and here are just more adult type cards. Just normal cards, not <laughs> special adult cards or anything. No thanks. Um, in here are some vintage pieces, in here there's some cute cut out paper things, here are my travel things. And here's a pocket with things that need to go into my literature journal. Then this pocket, I keep all the pictures I printed out and never did something with. In this pocket, I keep uh, Disney cutouts. And in here, just random stuff that um, couldn't fit anywhere else. Here are just some cards that already have something on it. Here is my love is collection and here I keep some tags and in here just some bigger pieces 
in this envelope I keep cards that um, have space for writing. And lastly, in these two pockets, I just keep things that are too big for other pockets. So that was everything. Um, I'm really happy with how it looks and I think it's going to be so nice to have this and to use this and just grab this while I'm journaling and um, I think I'll be way more creative with my ephemera now that I have it all together in this folder. So I want to thank you all so much for watching. Uh, please leave a like and a comment. Um, tell me if you want to make a folder, if you already have one, how do you store your ephemera and um, you can follow me on Instagram for more inspiration. It's Major on Slow Bar and I'd love to see you next time. Bye!